It's the NFL on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no holds barred between NFC South rivals. It's the Bucks and the Dirty Birds. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us down south to Mercedes-Benz Stadium on the west side of downtown Atlanta. Set for a good matchup in the NFC South, so glad you're with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this is a division you know a lot about, and the rivalries within this division always kind of gives you a good game when it's NFC South against NFC South. Yeah, this is a division, Mike, that I've lived in for a long time. we see throughout the NFL. This will be returned from the six. He's across the 20, taken down just shot of the 25. The Buccaneers led out by their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. He was in Cleveland and Carolina and then with the Rams, but now year two and it feels like he's found a home right here with the Buccaneers. He spent a lot of time, Mike, over these last couple days speaking to the media. And the thing that jumped out to me was just how confident he was in his team's preparation ahead of today's game. Now, only time will tell or not whether it makes a difference. But if his confidence is any indication of how they're going to perform, this could be a tough team to beat. Here comes Otten in motion. Here's Baker and begin with a pass. The middle of the field, he's got Evans. He'll come up now for second down and four. Now Mayfield. This pass is caught by Kate Otten. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. They'll run with the third year man. It's Rashad White. And he'll take this back right to the 43 yard line. The safety, Justin Simmons, with the stop. Here's a second and six. They'll run out of the gun. This is right. Oh, a loose football. Pretty fortunate right there, Mike. If that ball bounces just a different direction, that could easily be a turnover or even points the other direction. Third down and nine. Here comes Otten in motion. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. Gets this one into the hands of his receiver, Godwin. Mayfield. It's complete to Evans. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Snap and a give to White, and he'll get about five. On 
on the give. It's White. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Rainback looked a little unsure of himself on that carry there, Mike. You have to think back to that fumble earlier in the game. How much is that still weighing on his mind? He didn't really seem to attack that hole like we've seen in the past. He gets stopped. So no game. That's Palmer, the man in motion. To throw is Mayfield. That one complete. It's the tight end, Otten. That's a pair of hookups on this drive. This one goes for 14 yards and a first down. To give to White. Well, he shows you the elusiveness getting out of one tackle, but not the other. Fortunate, really, to get back to the line of scrimmage on that play. Not a great start by this running back here in the first half, Mike. He had a fumble earlier. Now he struggles just to get back to the line of scrimmage. They're going to have to get more out of this run game as the rest of this game moves along. They send Godwin in motion. Second down throw for Mayfield. This one on target to Godwin. And he will get into the end zone. Chris Godwin. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. On is Chase McLaughlin for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Buccaneers will take a 7-0 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away McLeod now to return and he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line the Falcons led out by their quarterback Kirk Cousins one of the big moves in the offseason Atlanta acquiring Cousins in free agency he had six years in Washington, the last six in Minnesota, and now he begins his run this season with the Falcons. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football, and while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. They'll come up here on second down and five. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Unfortunately, Mike, over my career, I've been in this guy's shoes plenty of times, probably more than I wish to admit. You take your eyes off the ball. You think about becoming a runner before securing the catch, and when you do that, you end up watching the ball fall to the ground. He'll air it out down the middle. separation that time tightly defended it brings up fourth down a little miscommunication there now brings up third down it just doesn't appear that the quarterback and the wide receiver were on the same page on that last pass
And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Bucks offense ready to get going with their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. the shotgun. Mayfield. This throw left side taken in by Johnson. Second down, a run with White. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. Here comes third and six. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So now, following the penalty, they're only going to need a yard. It is third and one. On the handoff, it's White. And this will be a Bucks first down as he gets this up to the 40-yard line. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. On first down, right back to right. He's able to get away from one member. Those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. This is a great example of why it's so important on defense to sprint to the ball. His ability to make people miss is hard for one guy to get him on the ground. But when you can get everybody to the ball, eventually you can take him down. And in this case, they do it for a loss. Here comes Otten in motion. Now it's White. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two. And it's third down. That's Palmer, the man in motion. On third down, they'll set up to throw. there and it's going to bring up fourth down the Buccaneers getting their puncher out there Ray Ray McLeod deep to return a fair catch taken here and it's going to come right at the 15 yard line the Falcons offense ready to take over for their second possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Second-year man out of Texas, Dijon Robinson. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Cousins now on second down. He's got this to Bijan Robinson. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. The 
from the shotgun. It's Cousins. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. But I think it would be a bit of an understatement, Mike, to say that this offense has come out today a bit flat. They haven't picked up a single first down through the first two drives, and barring a really aggressive decision here, they'll have to wait to their third series to see if they can make it happen. This kick hangs up, and a fair catch will be taken beyond the 35-yard line. The visitors' offense getting set to get back to work. They lead it here early 7-0 as they start with a first and 10. Baker to throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Back to the air. It's Mayfield. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Two incompletions to start the drive, and it leads to third down and ten. And look middle, and he's got his man complete. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. the huddle coming up now for first and ten throwing is Baker and a good effort there defensively it's knocked away and incomplete he may have trusted his arm strength a little bit too much on that throw two defenders in the area work to your check down work to an open receiver I think in this case he forces that ball and ultimately he's lucky he got away from on second down, Baker. A lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. So, after two straight incompletions, here's third and ten. They send Godwin in motion. Mayfield to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Here's Jake Camarda now, as they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. Good was that. Out of bounds, and they're going to mark it at the two. The Falcons offense ready to see what they can do. They are backed up about as far as you can be, operating from their own two-yard line. A first down throw for Cousins. Good throw taken by Pitts. Here's second and six. Puzzle. Complete former first round pick Drake London with the catch. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. A 
fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Mooney in motion. Off the play fake. Here's Cousins. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. All these defensive linemen, I promise you, they all want sacks. That is how you get paid. That is how you make your name. But it's also the other plays where you can affect the quarterback. Can you make them feel uncomfortable? Or in this case, you don't get the sack, but it was the hit that's able to alter the pass to fall incomplete. That's going to be incomplete. And it'll leave just enough time for one final play in this opening quarter. After back-to-back -back incompletions, they now face third down and 10. Pitts is the man in motion. Cousins out of the gun on third down. Open man is Mooney. He's got it. And he is taken down. A big gain on that one. Great way for them to end this opening quarter. Two first downs have them up to the 44-yard line. It's first and 10. Now, Cousins. That's caught left side by Pitts. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Second and a yard. Play action now. It's Cousins. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. It's incomplete. As this offense continues to put anything together and score some points, they need to just take a step back. They need to say, okay, we've struggled here in the first half putting points on the scoreboard. Don't worry about chasing points. Let's chase first downs. Let's chase completions. Just start building something small. And oftentimes when you take that approach, it snowballs, and next thing you know, you find your groove. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one. He's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. The visitor's offense headed back to take over once more. They lead it here in the second quarter, 7-0, as they begin with a first and 10. It's Mayfield. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. He'll try again here. Second and ten. They send Godwin in motion. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Oh, can't afford another incompletion here. Quickly in his third and ten. Here comes Otten in motion. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. The throw on the run is complete. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, and that will necessitate 
the ball to the punt team. It's fourth down. So what they're trying to do with this concept here, Mike, is they're trying to put layers into the defense. There's somebody attacking deep. There's somebody attacking intermediate. And then in this case, they force the ball to be thrown to the underneath check down, and they're able to keep him short and force fourth down. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. The home team's offense ready to get back at it. They'll begin with first and ten. start on the ground with Robinson. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. Cousins now. We'll try to set up a tight end screen with Pitts. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Cousins going to throw. Now he'll air one out. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I know it fell for an incompletion, but pretty impressive. He was able to push that ball really far downfield as he was being hit. Really says a lot about the arm strength that this quarterback has. And here's Bijan. You know, Mike, this is why they teach these guys to never give up on a run. There was multiple times there that he could have taken what he got, go down with the tackle, and live to play another day. But he kept fighting, broke free, and then look at the play that resulted. Huge game. So, here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. On the carry, this is Tyler Algier. Searches for for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Now, Cousins. That one is caught by Mooney. And the Falcons are going to be looking at a first and goal. They move it down to the four. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. Youngway Koo now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Falcons will level things out at seven apiece.
after the touchdown. In time for the kickoff. This taken in at the eight-yard line. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The visitors' offense back onto the field for their next possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. to throw it here on first down. Baker's going to hand it to White. And he's back up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Now the offensive coordinator's got a decision on his hand, Mike. It was second and one. He decides to go with a conservative run. Gets stopped for no gain. He's in the exact same position now on third down. Does he try to change it up? Or does he just turn around and hand it off again? Don't try to run for it. Here's White. And this will be a Bucks first down. Good running. Gets him to about the 44. to jump. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Out of the shotgun. Mayfield. It's over the middle of the tight end. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike, and it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page, and the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. And it's incomplete. Another shot at it from the nine. Second down and goal. Here's Mayfield. A short one there to Otten. And he'll be taken down. Let's call it the seven-yard line. And here comes third and goal. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. So can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? Throwing is Mayfield. And on third down, that ball incomplete. On fourth down, Chase McLaughlin in for the Bucks. This about as short as you can get. McLaughlin's kick is good. And the Bucks will break our tie and take a 10-7 lead.
both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. McLeod now to return. And the kicking team right there, stopping him before he can get to the 15-yard line. Here comes Drake London, the rest of that Atlanta offense getting set to take over once more. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time. And it'll set up second down. Let's give credit to that pass rush for making their presence felt. And although it didn't result in a sack, it's the disruption of the timing that's just enough to force that incompletion. And they'll run out of the gun. Here comes Robinson. He'll be brought down just shy of midfield. I think what stands out here, Mike, is there's a lot of guys in the league with the ball in their hands. They have great straight line speed. But it's the footwork. It's the ability to make you miss. That's what stands out about this guy. And you can see here on the big game. On first down, Cousins. That's caught. Ray Ray McLeod. And they move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. They'll run with Robinson. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. Second down, Cousins. That's over the middle, but it's incomplete. He's on Robinson, the intended receiver out of the backfield. And third down coming up. Throwing his cousin. Complete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Out is Young Way Koo to try the field goal. Officially an even 50 yard attempt. Koo's kick is good. And the Falcons will level the score. things up and we're back at it as this kicks away this field in at about the nine and their drive will begin at the 30 yard line the Buccaneers offense ready to get back to work they'll see if they can go about breaking our tie we're all even at 10 as this drive begins first and 10 begins with a run by White. He'll move this one ahead to the 31-yard line. Out from his safety spot, Jesse Bates makes the play.
Hook him up on a second down and eight. To throw is Mayfield. Gets this one into the hands of his receiver, Godwin. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Two minutes to play here in what's been an even first half. Greg and I back to Atlanta. In a moment, here's third and two. To throw is Mayfield. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. McLeod to return. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Here's Bijan Robinson and the Falcon offense set for their next drive. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. Throwing now, Cousins. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Now a second down throw for Cousins. To the right. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. And this is why most teams, Mike, decide to take the ball first after the halftime break because they want to be able to control this middle four. At the end of the first half, you can use your timeouts. You can use some strategy to steal an extra possession. If they're able now to go down and come away with points, they'll have a chance to double it up again right after the halftime break. Here's second and two. Cousins. Now a screen going to be shot. He's hit, and the ball is out. And fortunately, one of his teammates there to save him. They'll wind up getting enough to pick up the first down. I feel like we see this so often, Mike, especially with how good these receivers are after the catch. They're so eager to pick up that extra yardage. Sometimes they don't completely put the ball away. And with how good these defenders are at knocking it loose, pretty fortunate on that one. His teammate was there to prevent that from being a turnover. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Cousins to throw. He'll get back to Kadero High. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. About 19 yards on that one. They're in business. It's first and goal. 
You don't want to make a living off of making these kind of throws, Mike. It's one thing to throw into tight coverage, but it's another thing to throw into tight double coverage. And while the quarterback gets away with one here, I don't think you want to make a living doing it. Trying to get it to Kyle Pitts. And it'll bring up second and goal. Back in the day, Mike, you know how they decided who played offense and who played defense? The guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense. And now, that's obviously not the case anymore. But this is one of those that still gives defensive players a bad rap. They're told in at the two. And he's so close to the goal line, couldn't get that ball extended. They keep him out, and it sets up third and goal. Out is Young Way Koo to try the field goal. This about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Falcons get three here late in the first half to take the lead. with the lead now as this one is in the air here comes a return from the goal line and he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play so we're at halftime here in Atlanta and the Falcons are in the lead as we'll get you down to Orlando now that's with the coaches Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports halftime report Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. For the Falcons in the first half, they were led by their quarterback, the veteran Kirk Cousins. He connected on a touchdown pass in that first half, and that's a big part of why his guys lead at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. I think we're going to play a big role in who wins this one. Three points, all that separates these two sides is half number two. Kicks off. McLeod now to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. There's Kirk Cousins. He and the Falcons set for their next drop. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. They'll come up here first and ten. Now, Cousins. He's got his man. It's Mooney. And they're going to free him down. But there is a penalty marker on the field. Pitts is the man in motion. Here's Cousins. Left side in the hands of London. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. Off the play fake. Here's Cousins. They go sideline and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down.
give, and here comes Robinson. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. On first down, right back to Robinson. And you'll get about six there. Setting up second down. Another run here for Robinson. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Levante David doing his work on defense. The backfield empty here for third and two. Cousins going to throw. Open man. first down marker. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game. Everything looks the same. There's no tells. So they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a lot more pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook. So far, they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. to it as the kicks away. On the return, here comes Tucker. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense ready for their first possession of this second half. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. On play action, Mayfield. For the sideline, taken in by God. third and three. Out of the shotgun. Mayfield. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Picking time for the Bucks. They'll punch it away. He's on for the fifth time this afternoon. And no run back here. Fair catch taken at the 17-yard line. The Falcons offense and running back Bijan Robinson headed back onto the field. 
And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the top three conversation in that locker room at halftime. They got to find a way to slow him down. Nothing they've done has worked so far. Here's first and ten. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And he'll move this ahead for about four yards. Levante David doing his work on defense. Here's second and six. Pitts is the man in motion. Cousins now on second down. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. Incomplete on third down. There is no worse feeling either coming back to the huddle or the sideline after a big drop. And that was a beautifully designed play, perfectly placed ball, and he just couldn't make the grab. The Falcons getting their punter out there. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Bucks offense about ready to take over once more. They'll start out first down and ten. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. give and here's White a gain of four as he's taken down we'll send a tight end in motion right Going on second down, Mayfield. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Third and six. From the gun, it's Mayfield. First time they've looked his way all game long, but he comes through with the grab and a first down. When you're running a crossing route versus man coverage, you understand that there's going to be nobody waiting for you on the far side of the field. So if you can create separation on your man defender and separate away, there's a lot of green grass, and that's where the quarterback went with the ball. The whistle looks like there was movement on the left side of that offensive line. Tristan Wirfs, former first round pick with the flag. Throwing is Baker. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it will be second down. They'll motion the tight end right. On second down, Baker. Open that downfield. That's Garvin. He had their lone touchdown of the game earlier. And he comes through with the catch and a first down in this spot.
to throw is Mayfield. This one caught left side by Evans. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's a second and three forthcoming. From the pistol, a gift to White. And he's going to pick up the first down. He'll get down to the 15-yard line. Football League, Mike, is not only ability to process, but the ability to process quickly under pressure. And I think that's exactly the case here. He's able to go through his progression, find his target in the end zone, and then deliver that ball on time, accurately, and the result is a touchdown. On comes McLaughlin to add the PAT. He's got it. And the Bucks have taken the lead by a point here in the third. the kicks away Williams now to return and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line the Falcons offense and their running back set to go once more the deficit is one as they'll search now for that go ahead score From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He'll get this to McCloud. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. the huddle coming up now for first and ten Mooney in motion on first down it's Robinson still keeping the legs moving somehow managing to turn that into a game Here's a second and nine. Throwing his Cousins. They'll try to set up the screen here. The screen works for 10 yards and a first down. All right, Mike, so the way they teach these screen plays to the offensive lineman is you got to stop the defender's feet. You just don't want him to get a free, clean rush to the quarterback because you're so worried about getting out in front of the back. Stop his feet, make him start his rush over again before you slip out. Ball gets dumped right over the rusher's head. Bang, now you're in the open field. That's into the hands of Werner, the tight end. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. Cousins. And that is incomplete. 
incomplete, but now a penalty flag comes in late. He might have been caught with his hand to the cookie jar. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. The key to great defensive line play is the get-off. When that ball moves, how fast can you get off the ball and get into the backfield? That's exactly what we saw here. Quick read, react, get off the block, take him down for a loss. Second down, Cousins. Work throw taken by Pitts. They need the 24-yard line as they come up for third down. Cousins now. third quarter So the field goal here gets you the late lead. Gotta think you want six when you have it first down and goal. Cousins. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Go again from the three. It is second and goal. No try to run with Robinson. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one. Setting up third and goal. choosing to take it away. Mike, any time a quarterback turns into a runner, the defense loves it. They want to take a shot at him. They want to take a shot at the ball. And that's exactly what they were able to do here. Force the fumble, get the ball back. Great job there by the defense. Baker Mayfield and the Bucks ready to get back to work. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. So they come to the line for first down and 10. One of the tight ends in motion right. On first and ten, here's Baker. There's Evans, he's got it. And he is taken down, but not before they're able to get it out of danger. Up past the 25. Your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used 
used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Second down throw for Mayfield. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Baker to throw. And that is incomplete. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with the touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. be returnable from the 35 and it'll be brought down short return and they'll take over there here comes the Atlanta offense now they get set to take over once more they'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40 They go play action with Cousins. He's got his man. It's Mooney. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments. In fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. First and 10 now from the 36. They'll keep it on the ground. Robinson hit. He's lost the ball. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. These are the opportunities that just kill defensive coordinators. You got the ball loose. You did everything you want. But now you got to recover it. You need better pursuit to the ball. More bodies around the ball carrier. Because when that ball pops out, You've got to be on it. These opportunities don't come around often, and when they do, you got to seize the moment. He's got his target. That's Pitts. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Cousins going to throw. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Seemed to me from up here, Mike, that he really locked in on that guy. He told himself, I'm going to give my guy a chance to go compete for this ball. But anytime he enters such a crowded area, it usually means if he works through his progression, there's an easier throw somewhere on the field. Instead, he tries to fit it in and just wasn't able to quite make the completion. Not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. The integrity of the defense, Mike, is based on every defender holding their gap. That's exactly what we saw out of this defensive tackle. Not only did he hold his gap, he's able to shed his block and make the play. They'll stick to the ground. Here comes Young Way Koo in a pressure spot. This to take the lead here in the fourth. And 
And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here comes Tucker and this will work out quite well they'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line the Bucks offense and Baker Mayfield ready for their next possession and he has been masterful so far leading this offense keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll run here. He did a good job of making one man miss but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yards. the wrong way it sets up second along it's second down and 12 now they feel they'll set up the screen to white they may not have moved the chains but with what they were dealing with there on second down that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable here we go Burn. He'll run. He's going to have it up there for the first down. Take it up to the 43-yard line. pre-snap recognition here by the quarterback he looks outside and sees man coverage and he knows exactly where he's going to go with the ball now it's up to the receiver to create separation at the top of the route balls on time great placement nice big pickup they'll come up first and 10 at the 40. now the shot mayfield a short run there to Otten. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. On the give, it's White. And that'll be a pickup of three. Seven. The RPO. This is out to Evans. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Can we get extra bodies and extra attention 
He's still got a long way to go in this one. One of the tight ends motions right. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. As you can probably imagine, Mike, this one really burns me. I mean, man, I wish my fellow tight ends catch every ball the entire game, but to be this open and not come down with it, I'm going to have to set a reminder. Next year at TEU, we're going to have to bring out some jumps and shoots. Inside the 10, it is caught. They pick up a nice chunk play there through the air on third down, but it's not quite enough to move the chains. Now the question is, how aggressive is this head coach willing to be as he tries to extend this drive? So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. So we get to a pressure kick. And here's Chase McLaughlin. This to grab a late lead. And this one right down the middle. It's good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Play action now. It's Cousins. good for a Falcon first down. Really nice job here by the tight end, understanding that if you're not open, get open. And if you are open, stay open. He found a nice void in the zone on the backside of the defense, friendly to the quarterback. Nice pickup. They go side and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. A first down there on a game of 12. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and 10. Here's Robinson. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. The shotgun. It's Cousins. That's going to be dropped underneath for Robinson. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five.
Now, first and goal. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. To the goal line. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Cousins to throw. He'll swing that out wide. And he is not going to get in. Stop on the try for two. The lead remains right where it is. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. This taken at the five. And the kicking team right there stopping him before he can get to the 15-yard line. The Buccaneers offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Here is first and ten. Here's Mayfield. The left side pulled in by Evans. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Final minute, one timeout remaining, and it's first and ten. Throwing is Mayfield. He got the corner on that one. And they'll take this down inside the 35. You can just see the frustration of the defender. You see him get off the quarterback. He's like, man, hold that ball for one tick longer, man. I'm there to record the sack. Nice job by the quarterback having that timing and rhythm to get that ball out of his hand. You can imagine, he got close this time. That defender, he's going to keep coming. And don't be surprised if he eventually gets to it. The Buccaneers forced to use their third and final timeout. As they get it right at the 30-second mark of this fourth quarter. Here's first down. Throwing is Baker. Who adds another catch for his favorite target. He's taken down just shy of the 10. This passing attack is proving to be a lot to handle for this defense, Mike. Especially over the last couple plays. Four plays, four passes, four first downs. It doesn't get much more efficient than that. And let's give credit to the offensive coordinator. Don't try to fix it if it ain't broken. At this rate, we're going to be in the end zone in no time unless this defense gets some answers to slow down this aerial attack. So it's a win here for the Falcons. They proved much the best in this one. Get a solid performance in all three phases of the game.